All right, this in. Welcome back. I almost ripped a poor guesses intro. Did you? Did you clap? Yeah. Today we're gonna do something we haven't done in a long time. He's Dan. I'm Sean. We're gonna have a BJ battle on YouTube. It's a bad one too. For those of you who haven't been around for very long, how these work is Sean picked two whiskeys and I picked two whiskeys in a agreed upon category. And then whoever's whiskey comes out on top wins the episode. So this is, is I think our 10th on one. one. Ninth. Ninth one. So know. in the past, we've done things like, oh, our best bottle over 150. Yeah. Our best bottle under 100. Our best bottle around 60. Our best, you know, stuff like that. Today, we switch it up. A little different. Today, Today we got the uh, worst bottle in the hut. Whoever's bottle is the worst wins. So, we have four whiskeys in front of us. Sean chose two. I chose two. We don't know what each other chose. If we chose the same, it would have been put back and we would have had to repick. We did not have to. So, worst whiskey out of the four. Wow. Wins. Here's the funny thing. Normally, we deal with whiskey wars and stuff with gross whiskey when people send it to us, right? Okay, that doesn't even smell bad. Or it's a blind because we didn't intentionally ever choose bad whiskey. It's true. This is the first time, probably in three years, We've ever chose bad whiskey. So, we got some shitters. Yeah. That one hits different, that though. Let me tell you what. Huh? That one's just pungent, dude. I don't like it. Oh, my eyes hurt. So really, this, you might want to We might want to talk a little bit. This is basically self-harm. This is going to take a couple seconds to roll through. Okay. No, no. Same rules as always. No, thank you. All the way through. No, thank you. All the way back. Declare a winner. Yay. For this love of the game, as they call it, it's Re- like a boiled jock strap. <laughs> oh, my lord, it smells like um, hard boiled eggs, but they were left in the fridge and they're a little wet now. I almost grabbed this, I think. You know what? I know you didn't grab that, I didn't grab that. I'm surprised neither of us grabbed because I was gonna grab it and then I put it back. And Ricky didn't say anything when I grabbed it. Yeah. Woodford chocolate malt and rye. Oh, yeah, no. I considered it. I was rooting around over there, too. I can say, I, yeah, we both were. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that okay. tastes horrendous. Um, it smells like uh, rotten lemon. Sweat. Ball sweat, specifically. Oh, the, fin- the transition to the finish is absolutely heinous. Now, here's what I will say. Late finish, not terrible. Now, getting to the late finish is terrible, unfortunately. It's all terrible. You know what I think? I think this just puts in perspective the levels of things we don't like. So, like, the late finish, I wouldn't like compared to Eagle Rare. Oh, right? okay. But compared to the rest of the whiskey, the late finish is fantastic. B. B. It smells like chemicals. It smells like, it smells like what they, uh, you know when you go to a dealership and you buy a car and they go, do you want the, the leather treatment? And you're like, what is it? And they're like, smell it. That's exactly what it smells like. Oh, man. And it's just, it open, you open a metal can, a lot of chemicals that Sean says are supposedly very harmful to humans came out in a gas form. That's, Dude, that smells like absolute leather and shoes, dirty shoes, the insides. It's the old tainter, huh? Like a nice runner shoe. This is easily on the nose worse than A. I know. I think the nose on A is worse, but this... Is bad. A little mint in there. Oh wow. That literally makes my tongue retract into my throat. I almost hit the gag reflex now. Forgot we own this one. Let's see. It's so leathery. That is a hot <laughs> chemical coated leather, dude. If you licked the coating before it dried on the leather, nailed it. Eyes twitching. Let's see. I this mean, is the best realistically, nah, you know what? That one won best one of the four. I don't care what it tastes like. It smells fantastic comparably. Who picked this winner? <laughs> oh, no. It smells it smells fruity and citrusy. Man, it tastes like if you put bleach on cocoa pebbles. <laughs> that took a turn. I'm so on board with the cocoa pebbles. Bro, with but it's got an anonymous chemical on it. Dude. It's got melted plastic on it. 
My, I swear to God, my, after this, body shutting down. <laughs> hey, if you guys want the Timothy shirt, it's up in the shop right now. Go check it out, bourbonjunk.com slash shop. There's different colors in this. There's a hat on the front and a floating rabbit through space drinking whiskey, smoking a cigar in the back. Dude, that one smells so bad. That's back. Okay, B that and D smells, are very similar. Yeah, that smells like uh, someone's spitter. Oh my gosh, it does. Oh my gosh, it does. That's a really good note. Because it's a little oh, minty. it fucking tastes like it, too. It smells like uh, like Kodiak wintergreen. Honestly, that doesn't even taste that bad. Okay, you want to know why? It tastes not... I don't like it, but it's, no. not, it's not as abrasive. No. These somehow have oh, made this. it doesn't this. finish well, dude. That finishes like a cheap leather shoe. Why Would we be done yet? Is that... It's forest flory, too, in a bad way. Yeah. Like dirt. Mold. Yeah, in dirt. That's actual just wet dirt, dude. The black stuff under the moss. Yep. You actually were looking for worms and you ate a little. Why? Susten it. Naked and afraid. <laughs> You're, uh, what's I that just, show? Lost. Yeah. yeah. You're out in the woods. It's not winter. You need to eat. Earthworm Jim had some dirt on him. That tastes like a, like a bug covered in dirt. <laughs> All right. Well, I have to A and B these because I don't actually know which one the worst is right now. We're going to A and B these. I'm not no, drinking we'll D shortly. again. We'll be right back. So. I might have to give it to this one and B because C actually smells okay. It's chemically. I got to trace it again. It's sour. B is sour. That's what it is. It's like I No, ate you're right. It smells like soap. Yeah, like I was going to say crayon. soap. But yeah, it, that's some, some Irish Springs got in your mouth I there. swear to God, I was going to say fresh bar of Irish Springs, dude. Uh, C is so sharp. Why does C like nothing, nothing, nothing? Bam! Like, me, oh, fuck, my throat, dude. <laughs> it's like somebody walked up, you're like, how you doing? You're like, good. They're like, karate chopping the neck. <laughs> like, no, I haven't seen you for yeah, man. Yeah. For no reason. Oh, okay, we're back. I started sweating for a minute. We're back. All right. So, we've chosen. I got D, A, C, B being the winner, the absolute dog water. So this is, so <laughs> they're they're backwards when we say first to last. First yeah. means it was the best of the bunch. Yes. I, I think you and me switch A and B. Otherwise, we have the same order. Okay. So My worst, Sean and I B agree and that the worst one is B. Oh. The second worst one is C. I don't, go right who, through I don't care who won, but I'm not doing this again ever. Yeah, I figured you picked that. There's that one. Uh, a. Okay. Hirsch. Blue label. Oh, the horizon. Yeah. I looked at that. Uh -huh. That's pretty rough. Yeah. I put it best, though, of the bunch. D. Gray Skies, the the single malt whiskey. Okay, so yours and I. Mine won. Yeah. First and second. Or worst and second I worst. didn't. You went with the Texas Rise, the Balconis. Yeah. I picked Balconis Rye. Yeah. It's heinous. Which yeah. one's that one? B. That's one of the. St. Like, Cloud. Also almost picked that up. That's the one I point at and told Rick, I go, he picked that one. And she goes, nope. I'm like, really? I tried to get a little spicy with you. That I'm going to be honest, dude. Apparently, when you put a bunch of shit in there, the, the Michigan single malt ain't that bad. Right. It's, I mean, Still same shit. with the Hirsch. Here's the thing. We've had Balconis we like. Oh, I looked over at Amador 10 Barrel. I forgot Ooh, we the had the hopped that. one? Yeah. It's atrocious. Um, So I picked up the Woodford Chocolate Malted Rye and set it oh. back down. That was the one I picked up. That was my third one. Look at you, just picking the worst whiskey. I did a good job. Probably. You and I, I mean, immediately agreed through the A and B process. I almost put really good bottles in there. Is it worse than the vinyl cabinet? Okay, so here, this is the thing. The, you know the throw-up smell you got? There's leather in that now. Oh, dude. It just made all of the four worse. Not I'm bad. not tasting it. I'm not even fucking with you. Cheers. That's better. Tanner I don't Palmer. even feel bad about losing this. Yeah, I don't. Like, I, listen, buddy, I'm not proud. Right now. Like, I'm not. I'm not proud. Like somewhere, like I hate losing, but somewhere in my mind, my, it's okay. It's just like no, no, no. I'm not proud of this loss. This, <laughs> Cause I'm not because we're you and I okay. are now so beaten down yeah. by the fact that we drank those four back to back, or just ripped them. So that's a pretty good sells right there, dude. That's a pretty good one. All right, we're the Bourbon Junkies. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you liked the video. Go check out bourbonjunk.com. Uh, if that's you want a Drowning Pheasant right shirt or a Timothy the Giant shirt, there they are. Proofs to the poor.